I'm a stink. Supposed to be a nasty day today. Wind gusts up to 40 miles an hour. I'm running a little late. I didn't think I was gonna go. I just can't stand it. I gotta get back over there and and see if I can find where that if the dogs were trailing, if they were right. And I, I I got on Onyx Maps and looked where we ended. Well, there's a big canyon that you can't even see there. So that's where I'm headed. Just over that canyon. I just want to drop down in it and see if I can find a track, see if I can't get a bark or two out of the dogs, see what's going on, see if that lion went across the river or went curled back and went off into some other big canyons back in there. So that's the plan. I'm going to take the famous Jet Johnson today. So, and the male dogs. I'll let the females have another day off. Look at Jet, sitting there waiting for me. Are you mad because I've been riding Agnes? You're just jealous? Always meeting me at the gate. Hold on. Okay, get in. Go on, get in, get, get in! Good boy. Good boy! <laughs> you guys ready? Let's roll. Wind's already blowing. I'll drop down in that canyon right over there. There's a canyon right there. And day before yesterday, we were trailing across the flat. I mean, the, the female dogs were, were moving the track real, real slow. We pulled them because it was getting late and we weren't really going anywhere. It was slow. And, you know... I just didn't think it was right. I didn't know why the lines would go be going, or the lion or whatever we got would be going that way. But you know, after we circled around, thought, well, you know, she might have went up and split around. We can cut a little bit off this track by going to this little set of bluffs, and that's what we did. And we got over there and never got a bark on the dogs, nothing, 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 you know. And then went down in the canyon where the dogs were trailing up above on that flat, found a set of lion tracks coming in, and then lion tracks going out. So what I think that, and there was a pool of water up in there. So I think that lion was up in there from, when was I out there? Whenever that was. And I think she came in there, got a drink of water, piddled around up in there, whatever lions do, came out and went out and cut across this flat. So I, it just bothers me. So I, Jack's not with me today. The biologist, he had to take a day off. So I'm going to go out here and, and, uh, I'm going to drop down that canyon. I'm going to make a little bit of circle, uh, just a couple hours. I'm not going to, I'm not going to torture myself out in that wind. You know, the dogs don't care. I mean, they just want to go hunt. They don't care if it's windy or what, whatever. Yeah. I'm going to see. It's one of those things. You just don't, you don't know until you go investigate. Anyway, I don't know. You probably noticed from some of my videos, I have these things in my ears. They're just Bluetooth, uh, AirPods, AirPods, AirPods from Apple. Anyway, it connects to my phone. I don't watch TV hardly. I watch YouTube videos because I make YouTube videos. And then I uh, I listen to podcasts a lot. And I just listened to a podcast, uh, Bear Hunting Magazine. I listened to one of theirs earlier. And I've been listening to this guy for a while. He did he trained a mule and everything. His name's Clay Newcomb or something like that. Anyway, he did one on training the mules. It's it pretty neat. And and, uh, and then he did, uh, he just did this one with the Sportsman's Alliance. And you know, <sighs> I'm, I've never been one to get involved in stuff like that. I just, I mean, I, I'm first place. I'm not a very social person. I don't do much socially. I, you know, I, I you know, roping I is, was my big social event. You know, I'd go to roping and all my buddies would be there and we'd rope and that, that was it. And then church, you know, and then, so I don't, I don't get involved in things like that. I'm not, I like to make my videos. I like to share my passion. I like to share what I do. I want to show that it's not just that easy. You just don't take a bunch of dogs out there and turn around and catch something and ah, big fight and you shoot it and you, you know, and all these anti hunters, they just think that it's, it's a crude way of hunting. And really it's a, it's a first place. It's a, it's a, 
what do they say? It's a time-honored tradition. And I made a video before, and I'll put a link to it right here. You know, yeah, that's where I'll be, right here. It's all about the hounds. And really, for me, that's what it is. It's taking dogs that were bred to, for a specific purpose and taking them out here and letting them do what they were bred to do. And, uh, but anyway, back to the sport. And they, they had this, uh, this podcast about the Sportsman's Alliance. And uh, I think that's a good organization to be involved with. I think that that guys should should join it because not only they're fighting for all hunting, but they're fight, fighting for for hunting with hounds, for hunting bears over bait, for hunting with bears with hounds, for hunting with lions. I mean, they lost it already in California and then Oregon and I don't know, some of those Western states, but they're trying to come after it everywhere. And I think the only way we have a chance is is by joining organizations like that you know, ponying up our money and, and getting involved. And that really, it goes against my style. I'm more of a, a loner type guy. And I, a lot of those organizations, I don't trust. I can see them saying, oh, we'll give up, you know, let's have our deer hunting or whatever, turkey hunting, whatever it is they like to do, but we'll compromise. We'll give up, you know, we'll, we won't fight for the, for the hound hunters. I could see that happening. I don't, I, I don't think these people would do it. And so, and we, and really, it's the only chance we got. So as soon as I get back today, I'm gonna I'm gonna find their website or whatever it is they got, and I'm gonna join. I, I mean, we've got it pretty good here in New Mexico, but there's other states that they're after them. They're gonna be after our trap, and we got a new uh, governor, and and they're she's real liberal, and they're I'm afraid that it's gonna be it's gonna get bad. So we need to do something. Kind of weird. I got out here and the wind quit blowing. Just stopped. Oh wow, this is a big old canyon right here. Anyway, we were trailing out across that flat from that hill right there, from that mountain right there, hill, whatever you want to call it, across the flat, back into here. And from when you're on top looking across, it just looks flat. You can't see these canyons because it's, you know, it's just flat tops. I got on the Onyx map last night, but I seen this big canyon here. So I thought, well, maybe she's just cutting across to get into this canyon, either go down across the river or maybe cut across this country right here. Go right up through that saddle. Who knows, but I'm going to find out because that's a pretty sandy bottom draw right there. And I should be able to see a track in it if she used that. Probably got about two hours before the wind starts blowing real hard. It's nice now. Little old dried dirt tank. I didn't know it was even here. It's a good place. I haven't even got, I haven't seen a track. I haven't had a bark out of a dog or nothing. I could be missing the track. And after two days, you know, you not going to get much out of the dogs. This is like that notch we were looking at. Call it a notch or a saddle. Well, I think I need to be on the other side of that fence. You can see those clouds moving. Now that wind's gonna be dropping down here in just a minute. I need to be back in that other canyon, cross that, see if I can see any tracks or not, and then boogie on out of here. Yeah, it'll be it'll be dropping down to me. I hate the wind. Just hate the wind. What do you think, Jet Johnson? Easy day for Mr. Jet Johnson. Easy day for all of us. All right, here we go. The wind started. A booger down there trailing something. I really want to believe that that line came across here. And I believe she did. I don't know where she went. She might have went down across the river. I couldn't find a definite track. But I got some barks and some places where it made sense, where it lined up where we were the day before yesterday. The only thing that lines up is that bluff over there. Back that way. Or the big mountain. I trailed about it's gonna be about three videos before this one I'll put a link right up here I'll put a link right here. 
Every day, though, is an education. You get to learn a little bit. Look at your teeth. 